Hello, welcome. My name is Jari Kempes. I'm a health economist and a consultant and a freelancer. Today I'm going to present you the results and recommendations of an investment case that we did uh, for two-year post-university specialty training uh, in family medicine in Tajikistan. Uh, I have done this work uh, together with Dr. Alexander Stolper. This uh, work has been uh, commissioned by the Swiss uh, Tropical and Public Health Institute and funded by the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation. Results of a recent evaluation of the PUST program so that the family doctors who are graduating through the two-year PUST program are better skilled than those who graduate now through the conventional one-year work experience. So the policy challenge what this investment case is trying to address is uh, how to transition from inter international support to sustainable national funding. This investment case is available in English and in Russian and you can find the links uh, here below this presentation. And, uh, the related challenges in Tajikistan include, first of all, 38% of family doctor positions are currently not filled in postgraduate education of adequately trained family doctors need to be scaled up. Uh, funding uh, from SDC for the post is ending and therefore new financial support is urgently needed for the program. So objectives of this uh, investment case include uh, firstly uh, to assess the funding needed in the next five years. We want to advocate for uh, control transition uh, to sustainable national funding, uh, lobby for increasing the national funding and support uh, international fundraising. And also we want to uh, provide international donor an example of an exit option uh, by uh, gradually decreasing the funding. The two-year PUSH program has two main components. First of all, a theoretical part, 20% and the practical training and clinical teaching part, which is approximately 80% of the program. The post is implemented by the Post Graduate Medical Institute in Tajikistan and it's supported by the STC and the Swiss Tropical and Public Health Institutions Medical Education Reform Project, MEP project. And importantly, 97% of the family doctors who graduate through the post program continue uh, to work as a family doctor. Results of recent uh, post evaluation by using uh, uh, objective structured uh, clinical examination scores show that the two year post family doctors had the significantly better skill levels than those of uh, who, who graduate. Uh, through the conventional uh, one-year work experience. So the post family doctors got 60% uh, uh, of the scores correctly, while, while the uh, intern family doctors scored only 45%. So methods of the health economic evaluation include, so first of all, we conduct the cost analysis of the program in 2018. Then we make a five-year budget forecast from 2019 to 2023, uh, based on the assumption that there's a scale up from current 31 uh, family doctors graduating per year to 100 new family doctors per year. And there's an increase national funding and there's a stepwise uh, decrease of the donor support. And then lastly, uh, we calculate the cost of what are the cost of uh, training one family doctor. Total costs uh, of the PUSH program 2018 were $228,000, that is approximately 2.2 million Tajik Samoni. We can see here that uh, the student stipends were almost half of the program costs, and while, while the compensations paid for the tutors, teachers and coordinators, coordinators uh, accounted for 30%. Then there's some 5% spent on the training and 14% on other 
costs like uh, Dr. Bags and transport costs. Then if we zoom a little bit more in, uh, who is actually paying for what? Uh, we see that 77% of the program is uh, financed by the MEP program and uh, Ministry of Health covers 23% of the total costs. So here, here we can see that uh, currently the PUSH program is relying heavily on international uh, uh, financing support. Next, uh, we make a scale-up forecast, uh, scaling up the number of the family doctors graduating from the program. Currently, there's 31 uh, family doctors graduating in 2018, and th this number is to be increased to 100 uh, new family doctors graduating in 2023. There, it's a two-year program, so you have to have a two-year groups uh, going through the, uh, the forecast. Also. Uh, even though the, the 100 new family doctors each year, it, it's an improvement. If we take into account uh, that, that there's a large group of roughly 60 year old family doctors going to uh, retire in the coming five years, and also that the population of the Tajikistan is increasing, uh, this number is not enough uh, to close the, the, the gap of the uh, open family doctor positions. Next, we combine the 2018 costing with the scaling up the number of the students. Uh, here we can see that the majority of the funding is coming from the MEP program in 2018. Uh, if the international donor funding is stopped, there's a huge drop uh, in financing of the program. And, and this, at least in my view, would endanger the continuity of the program, or at least uh, would compromise the quality of the teaching. Therefore, we advocate uh, continuity of, of the international support, but in a stepwise declining manner that uh, the, the donor funding would be decreased from the 2018 levels gradually to zero by 2023, when the Ministry of Health would uh, take completely over the financing of the program. And here we have the annual budgets uh, in Dutch money and in the US dollars in case somebody happens to need them. So what, what is then the cost of training one family doctor in the PUSH program? In 2018, with the donor support, cost of uh, the two-year program per one doctor would be $6,700. Uh, with the scale increase uh, and shift to the lower national funding, uh, the cost of training one uh, doctor would be reduced significantly. Uh, in, in 2023, uh, we predict that then the cost of training one family doctor would be only $1,100. So this would also indicate a more efficient use of the limited resources. Let's move then to discussion. First of all, PUST um, uh, should be continued and scaled up to guarantee and increase the supply of adequately trained family doctors in Tatsikistan. Also, the present uh, postgraduate uh, family doctor numbers, the 31 graduate in 2018, they are too low even to maintain the current uh, coverage of uh, family doctor positions. Also, ending of the STC support is likely to pose significant uh, challenges to the quality and continuity and also to the needed uh, scale up of, of post program. And, and therefore, uh, new international support is urgently needed, to, first of all, to ensure the continuity, but also enable uh, uh, structured uh, transition to sustainable uh, national funding. Moreover, this would be an opportunity to institu institutionalize the PUSH program at the postgraduate uh, medical institution. Also, longer uh, tutor-supervised practical training is one of the preconditions for international uh, accreditation of uh, family medicine education and the diplomas. The two-year training might not be sufficient uh, for this kind of accreditation, but it's an important uh, step uh, to, towards that direction. The international uh, financial and technical support has been essential for the development and uh, uh, initiation of the PUSH program. The donor-supported provision of higher stipends, doctor bags, 
uh, transport allowances may have helped to attract more postgraduates uh, to the post uh, and also to family medicine. And then some words uh, of the limitations of this kind of studies, like all, all the costing studies, uh, the productions, they depend on the inputs used. And uh, the, the budget forecast, they depend on, on availability of national funding and also which expenses uh, the, the Ministry of Health is uh, able to take over. And of course, the, the cost uh, predictions or the scale of predictions are driven by the number of the students uh, enrolling the, uh, the program each year. Then the recommendations. First of all, continue funding of the two-year post to ensure continuity of the training and uh, structure transition to sustainable national funding. So in the next five years, $300, uh, $355,000 would be needed from an international donor. One should request the Ministry of Health to commit to increase the national funding for the PUSH program. Uh, the minimum for the next five years uh, would be $448,000. Thirdly, um, advise the Ministry, the Ministry of Health to commit uh, to scale up the post to at least 100 uh, family doctors graduating each year. Even though this would be a good start, uh, uh, the scale up alone doesn't uh, solve the shortages of the family doctors. There are other aspects like uh, salaries and retention of family doctors, which also play a role. Number four, decrease the international fun financing gradually. To, to, in order to prepare for the transition to the national funding. And one would also consider making the international support conditional, conditional, first of all, for the increase of the national funding and also to the scale, to the number of the family doctors graduating uh, from the program. And uh, finally, five, uh, all uh, new family doctors should graduate from the two year uh, post program, not uh, via the conventional one year work experience. We would like to thank all these persons uh, for their support and providing information for this uh, investment case. Uh, you, you can find uh, the download links to the PDF versions of this investment case in English and in Russian below this presentation. If you like the topic and the investment case, so please uh, share this presentation. And uh, here are my contact, my contact details uh, in case you have questions or comments. Thank you very much for watching.